Proleucin, also known as IL-2, is FDA approved to treat advanced kidney cancer. It stimulates the growth of T cells and natural killer or NK cells. Both are important in recognizing and destroying cancer cells. Interferon, the second type of immunotherapy available to patients with metastatic kidney cancer, works in two ways. It helps the immune system fight cancer by slowing the growth of cancer cells and also stimulates the immune system by encouraging T cells and other immune cells to attack cancer cells. Intron A and Referon A are the two types of FDA approved interferons that are available to patients with advanced kidney cancer. Although IL-2 is the only treatment known to offer a complete and durable response in some patients with advanced renal cell carcinoma, it is significantly higher in toxicity compared to other therapies. Regardless of its potential, eligible patients often do not get the opportunity to learn about IL-2 as a treatment option. This is often for one of two reasons. The first is that IL-2 is an in-hospital therapy. It is administered intravenously and must be done at a highly specialized facility with a team of doctors and nurses who are trained to administer the drug. Patients who would like to include IL-2 in their treatment plan would need to be partnered with an oncologist at a specialized treatment center. The second reason IL-2 is often left out of the treatment discussion is because of its severe side effect profile. The most common side effects can be seen in this chart, which include low blood pressure, chills, vomiting, rash, diarrhea, confusion, and nausea, to name a few. The most serious side effects occur in more than 1% of patients. They can be life-threatening and include heart problems or heart attack, shortness of breath, abnormal blood tests, decreased urine, and acute renal functional impairment. While the side effects of IL-2 can be severe, it's important to keep in mind that they are generally predictable, manageable, and reversible. Patients generally do not continue to experience side effects on discontinuation of the drug. Specific treatment guidelines have been developed to help trained doctors and nurses better predict and manage the onset of side effects. Candidates for IL-2 must be in good overall health with normal heart, lung, liver, and central nervous system function, in addition to other eligibility requirements that may be determined by your doctor. To learn more about IL-2 or to find a specialized treatment center in your area, you can go to www.proleucan.com slash mrcc.